This is the main problem that I'm seeing every single day in my clinic. Patient would come to me, they would say, hey doc, we're trying to conceive. We did the semen analysis, we have no sperm. We've been on testosterone for the last five years. No one told us this is gonna affect fertility. So the pathophysiology of it is, if you take testosterone, we call it exogenous testosterone or external testosterone, your body is gonna perceive it as, whoa, I have a lot of circulating testosterone in my blood. Why would I spend energy and produce my own natural testosterone from the test? So that's happening at the level of the of the testicle. So okay. the testicle would feel, and the brain would feel like, I have plenty of testosterone. I should not produce my own natural testicular testosterone. So this will shut down. With the shutting down of testosterone production, you're going to also shut down the sperm production. But also the natural testosterone is the only fuel for sperm production. No matter how much you take testosterone, this is going to be negatively affecting so sperm. So exogenous testosterone doesn't act as fuel for no, sperm production. No, it acts the opposite. Interesting. It, it, it doesn't affect whatsoever. It makes it worse. So most men on exogenous testosterone, again, they're going to drop their natural testosterone and they're going to drop their sperm to zero. Like if you take it for an extended period of time, five years, seven years, the likelihood that if you do a semen analysis, these numbers are going to be extremely low or zero.